This is a car. And this is a car on Mythbusters. Do not try what you're about to see at home. We're what you call experts. That's one big rig and two truckers raring to go. So now to put the car before the horsepower. Allow me to introduce you to the car we will be smashing today. It's not only the same make and model as the car in the clip we're attempting to replicate, it also has a special significance to me. Here, take a look at this picture. That's me at 25 years old, 20 years ago, and that is my first car. Yes, this is the same make and model as my first car. Once the car's all lined up, the final ingredient for test one is the passenger. This is our human analog. It's called a Sindaver. It has individual muscles, bones, and organs just like a human. Now, it will be our crash test dummy for this test, and we're going to x-ray it first to make sure all its parts are intact. Immediately after the accident, our dummy will be x-rayed again and examined by friend of Mythbusters orthopedic surgeon Noah Weiss, and we'll see just what kind of injuries our dummy sustained. Yep, it's all good. Now, in the movie, our hero was seated in the back seat of a car just like this between two large policemen, and we will do that crash. That'll have to do. But in order to find out how good or bad that might have been for him, we need a control, and that's why in this test, our guy will be seated all alone in the back seat. Yes, you'll be fine. No, you won't be fine. He's not going to be fine at all. And to quantify just how not fine he'll be, the team adds PCB accelerometers, meaning the sandwich suspect is all set. Glad I'm not you. Cautiously, Jamie climbs into the cab and takes the truck to the far end of the runway. Then it's go time. All right, Jamie, are you ready? Good to go. Crash test control. <laughs> Two. <laughs> go. Like an angry walrus, the truck heaves into action. Accelerating to the 50 miles an hour of the movie. Here it comes. That was amazing.